on the road again. That seems to be the theme of many truckers and travelers. And in this plaza, the Gateway Travel Plaza in Breezewood, Pennsylvania, there's a mission that reaches out and tries to bring God's love and a sense of home to those travelers. Chaplain Bruce Maxwell is here to talk a little bit about his mission as the United Methodist Deacon. Um, how did you realize that there was a need for a trucker and travel ministry? Uh, very good question. When I first came to this area, I had finished seminary school and I wasn't quite sure what God had in store. Um, wasn't feeling like God was calling me to a traditional parish church and found out through a district superintendent that this particular position was open. And I went for the interview, and within 15 minutes I realized this is what God had been preparing me for um, and discovered that there is a real need on the road. And I have an affinity for travel and enjoy meeting different people from all over the world and um, have really enjoyed that aspect. And seeing the, the culture of the highway, the truck drivers, the travelers, and the plaza employees just discovered that this is a place where a presence of the church um, could be of great benefit and value. This was a really unique location, actually, for the mission because they already built into the plans for the building a place for the mission. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, there are two main plazas in Breezewood. Uh, there's a Flying J and then this Gateway Travel Plaza, which is where we are now. And we are in these places. They're commercial settings. They're not churches. But we are a presence of the church in a commercial setting. And we're here by invitation, so we don't take that for granted. And uh, we're thankful that we have permission to be here in the architectural plans of this building. They built a chaplain's office or a chaplaincy office, which is where the ministry is housed, the headquarters, so to speak. And uh, that becomes a, an identifiable place uh, of the ministry. What are some of the main needs that you see of the people that come traveling through here? Well, as a ministry, we try to be here as a, a, a ministry of prayer, of presence, of counsel, of hospitality, emergency assistance work. We get a lot of uh, calls for folks who might get stranded or have a need for lodging or fuel um, or transportation in, in some way. So those are some of the, the physical ways. But the spiritual ways there or emotional ways, there are folks who are away from home for long periods of time, long-haul truck drivers, um, some folks who are traveling by foot who perhaps are homeless or in a homeless situation, and need someone to talk to or a little bit of help. Um, so that's, that's part of why we're here, is to, is to share something of what Christ would offer in this kind of a setting. If someone wanted to start up a trucker travel ministry, what would you say are some things to get them started? I would say uh, on a weekday evening, uh, spend a couple evenings having dinner at the truck stop. And just watch and look and listen and and see if there's opportunity perhaps to um, put some Bibles in the TV trucker lounge. Have a conversation with the management and see if there is a ministry already functioning. And um, if not, maybe begin exploring how a local church could reach out to the highway community if a church is located near a highway. So that would be a, a way to start. What are some God moments that you've seen in your 20 years that you've been working here? Oh, many. I, I, one of the greatest things for me as a chaplain is to hear stories of, of God in action in people's lives. So the gospel comes to me, and it encourages my faith and encourages my heart. Um, I remember one story of two youngsters that were traveling through. They were... 19 and 20 years old and there was two dogs and they were with backpacks and traveling all the way across the country jumping trains and um, trying to make their way back home but anyhow they had been on the road for nine months and were homesick and um, 
they had finally come to the end of their rope and, and life on the road was getting hard for them. And the gentleman made a call to his father who had not heard from him in nine or ten months. And the father was overjoyed to hear from his son. And it turns out that in that family, this young man's older brother, who he idolized, had been killed in a tragic motorcycle accident. And this was his way to deal with the grief, taking to the highway um, and working through that loss. But it was a great reunion to see the father and the son hug and just reunite. I'm sure there's many stories like that. Um, and so we're also going to hear the perspective from some truckers and travelers. Local churches support the mission in many ways. And one of the ways is that Roxbury United Methodist Church Youth Group made this sign that says, I am with you always. And it has all kinds of trucks and cars and um, just the different seasons and places that people might be traveling through. And recently we met one of the trucker travelers um, named Emmanuel. And that means God with us. And truly God is always with you while you're traveling. And you said that you are a Christian. Um, and you know that you have a lot of people praying for you at home. Um, how do you think that just traveling through has affected your faith walk? Um, I definitely had to realize that I had to rely more, way more on God because I guess before I said, oh, I can drive this truck and it just, it's not near that easy. Uh, so I've definitely had to rely a lot more um how often do you come across places that are close enough to the rest stop that you are able to worship or um, talk to someone that's a chaplain or a pastor um, i'd say if i had to give a estimate probably like one out of a hundred really yeah there are uh-huh. very few and far in between okay. you know from what i've seen um, and do you think most of the churches that are within walking distance, um, do they have any kind of mission to the truckers? Um, Not that I'm aware of. No. Okay. Um, what do you think is something that truckers and travelers are most in need of? If someone's going to have a mission, um, what would you be most appreciative of? I'd say I would probably appreciate like the the little tracks they put in the bathrooms or, you know, other places, you know, where, um, there's so much negative stuff out there that if you can throw some good stuff, you know, sprinkle it around, you know, the, uh, kind of plant those seeds in, in the driver's minds because there's so much negative out there. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And um, hopefully some more churches that are close to highways might be able to start a mission and um, at least be praying for all of the people that are traveling through. Um, And if you would like to learn more about this ministry and maybe how you can start a trucker or traveler ministry, you can check out my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com. (laughs) 